Yo, this situation in Bolivia is wild. Like with a capital W. A Bolivian general got arrested on live TV for mounting a coup. And specifically, I'm talking about General Juan Jose Zuniga, who yesterday afternoon led military units into the main square in the administrative capital of La Paz. Or to me, we saw armored vehicles ramming the palace door as soldiers try to make their way into the building. With then President Luis Arce calling on the public to organize and mobilize in defense of democracy. And the two of them reportedly later seen confronting each other in a dramatic standoff in a palace hallway. With our say ordering the general to withdraw his soldiers and stand down. And sure enough, the soldiers ended up pulling back along with the military vehicles, ending the apparent coup after just a few hours. And with that, we saw hundreds of Arce supporters rushing to the square outside the palace, waving Bolivian flags, singing the national anthem, and cheering. With the general then being handcuffed and forced into a police car. And the triumphant Arce raising a fist to the crowds that had gathered, signaling the defeat of this attempted coup. And if you look at that and you go, this seems to have played out way too perfectly for Arce. Well, here's the thing, you may be right, because there's a twist. See, as he was being arrested, the general effectively claimed that the whole thing was staged, saying he was actually acting on Arce's instructions. Telling reporters, on Sunday, I met with the president and the president told me the situation was very fucked, that this week would be critical. And so it's necessary to prepare something to bring up my popularity. And so he told me, he asked me, shall we take out the armored vehicles? Because the key thing is that Arce is currently having a fight with the former president, right? Evo Morales, and it's for control of the ruling party ahead of elections coming up in 2020. And all of this playing out as the country's in the midst of an economic crisis as well. And on top of all that, the general's not the only one claiming that all of this was staged. With Andrea Barrientos, a senator for the opposition, telling BBC, what happened today in Bolivia is a really bizarre situation. We can confirm that this was a self-coup organized by Luis Arce's government. Though to be clear, even though this is very, very strange, we haven't seen evidence to back those claims up. Not to mention that all of this came a day after the general was actually removed from his role as commander of the Bolivian army. And on top of that, right, his other comments as he was being arrested, they suggested that, you know, he was unsatisfied with Arce's leadership. Telling reporters, we want to restore democracy. The people have no future and the army has the courage to look out for the future of our children, the well-being and progress of our people. Which is why we saw the country's justice minister saying, the general lies and seeks to justify himself in a decision that is his and for which he will be held accountable in court. And going on to say that they will seek to sentence the general to the maximum possible prison sentence for these crimes, which is 15 to 20 years in prison for having attacked democracy in the constitution.